12-year-old girl died in go-kart crash. Investigation underway after shooting in Dodge County. A new visitor center planned for Sheboygan. These stories and more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review. Service, WSCS TV. News content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, October 29th, 2018. A go-kart crash on Saturday has killed a 12-year-old girl. She has been identified as Madison Plugger of Spencer. The accident happened on private land in Marionette County in the town of Grover, Sheriff Jerry Sov says the victim was visiting her grandmother and other family members. An accident report says the go-kart crashed into a parked pickup truck around 3 o'clock p.m. and Pugger was taken to a hospital in o Oconto and died from internal injuries. The crash is still under inv investigation. A man is charged with breaking into the home of a missing 13-year-old girl and stealing articles of her clothing. Kyle Janke, 32, is charged with burglary and bail jumping. On the morning of October 27th, he is accused of entering the Kloss family home in Barron, going into the room of Jamie Kloss and stealing underwear, a tank top, and a dress. He was seen on a motion-activated trail camera on the property, and police say that he was questioned later that day and confessed. Stolen items were found in his possession, and he had been released from jail just three months ago in another burglary case. Janke is charged with burglary and bail jumping, and bond was set at $5,000. Janke worked out worked at the Jenny O. Turkey store where Jamie's murdered parents also worked and they did not know each other. Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald says Janky is not a suspect in the homicides or the disappearance and the burglary happened 12 days after. Eight sex offenders on the community supervision are accused of violating Halloween specific restrictions. Sex offenders are not allowed to hand out candy, dress in costumes, put out decorations, or interact with children during Halloween trick-or-treating. In many cases, their terms of release call for them to remain indoors with their lights off for Halloween. The Wisconsin Department of Correction says 200 random homes, home visits were done over the weekend during trick-or-treating times. There are more than 5,600 registered sex offenders in Milwaukee area, and a similar check last year led to 12 arrests. Authorities are identifying a man shot to death inside of a State Street parking ramp. 21-year-old Stephen Villegas was shot to death early Sunday morning, just as the annual Halloween celebration Freak Fest was ending. He was not a UW student. No one is in custody and the motive is still unclear, although police believe the shooting and the victim had some earlier interaction with each other. Police say that the shot was fired around 2 o'clock a.m. at the State Street Campus Garage on North Francis Street and Villegas was shot in the chest and died while being transported to the hospital. Surveillance camera footage is being reviewed to help identify the suspect and police say that the suspect would have been inside the parking ramp and they are hoping someone comes forward with a tip that leads to an arrest. Anyone with information should call 608-266-6014. In Beaver Dam, an investigation is underway after an officer involved shooting wounded a man Friday night. Police were called to a domestic disturbance and reacted to a situation involving a firearm. 
A 35-year-old man was shot in the lower part of his body and then taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A police officer who has been with the police department for 17 years has been placed on administrative leave. And finally, visit Sheboygan Inc., the tourism entity for the Sheboygan Area Tourist Zone and Windway Captain Corporation are set to begin a development project for a new visitor center and office complex on South 8th Street. Plans include exhibits and retail space in the visitor center, as well as a future freshwater exhibit on the Sheboygan River. The complex also includes new office space for Visit Sheboygan Inc. and the Windway Captain Corporation. Groundbreaking for this development is expected by the end of the year with completion of the project for fall of 2019. The new visitor center will house a viewing area for a new Lake Michigan shipwreck documentary to be produced over the next year, as well as an NOAA Design Science on a Sphere or SOS exhibit. And the sphere will be the focal centerpiece of the visitor center storefront. Passerby will have a view of the six foot suspended globe, which will glow through the main window on South 8th Street, explained Chad Pelchek. Director of Planning for the City of Sheboygan and Chairman of the Visit Sheboygan Board of Directors. The SOS exhibit is a spherical screen that protects data online and sets transforming it into an animated planet. SOS has the capability to visually display hundreds of sets of data, including seismic activity across the planet platonic shift over time, the shrinking of rainforests, population mass across the globe, wind and weather patterns that cover the earth, ocean currents, the asteroid belts and solar system, and hundreds of other information and entertaining earth and space programs. As part of the Visitor Center project, Visit Sheboygan also plans to install a science on the barge in 2019 to be open by fall of 2020. The science on the barge is a self-contained ecosystem of the Lake Michigan land and waterscape built on a floating barge permanently docked on the Sheboygan River next to the Visitor Center. Patrons will have the opportunity to participate in hands-on STEM projects and programs and tour the barge, which will include freshwater aquaponics and plant life. The visitor center will also house learning space for other interactive programs in partnership with the Sailing Education Association of Sheboygan, or SEAS, including sailing educational and practical skills such as navigation and knot tying. It certainly makes visiting the area a more interesting place to experience while promoting waterfront activity and engagement. Visit Sheboygan Inc., the official tourism entity for the Sheboygan Area Tourism Zone, including the city of Sheboygan, the town of Sheboygan, and the town of Wilson, is funded by a room tax dollars collected from overnight visits to lodging facilities located within the zone. Currently, the zone economy captures an estimated 40% of the county's 223,700,000 annual visitor spending. And that is our report for Monday. Join me again on Wednesday for another recap of our local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.